Ceres and the Io are two radically different objects. Ceres is a cold and icy dwarf planet. It is mostly geologically dead, so its surface is incredibly distorted. It is accumulating impact craters due to a lack of geological activity. Ceres has a diameter of about 950 kilometers, meaning that the Moon has a diameter 3.5 times longer. Io, on the other hand, is the closest spherical moon to Jupiter, and it is the most volcanically active object in the solar system. It also pretty much entirely lacks water, unlike Ceres, and also nearly entirely lacks craters as well, because they are constantly erased because of intense volcanic activity. Io is also much larger than Ceres, with a diameter of about 3,650 kilometers, its diameter is by about 170 kilometers longer than that of the Moon. So then what would happen if Io and Ceres suddenly switched places and swapped the exact same stable orbits? So Io, because it would switch places with Ceres, would then appear in the asteroid belt it would find itself between Mars and Jupiter. This would mean that it would be at a distance about three times further away from the Sun than the Earth. It would by far be the largest object in the asteroid belt, taking up most of the mass. All of that intense volcanic activity of Io would eventually come to a stop, as suddenly there wouldn't be Jupiter and the rest of the moons that cause tidal heating. Friction that generates heat within its interior would stop, and therefore volcanoes wouldn't be able to spew hot molten rock onto its surface. So, although Io would be closer to the Sun, which one expects would make it hotter, and it would make the surface hotter overall, but at the same time it would also lack tidal heating necessary for active volcanoes to exist. So, there won't be sudden changes in temperature where it goes from very hot during eruptions to very cold. So, Io, in the place of Ceres, wouldn't be capable of having plumes that shoot matter for a few hundred kilometers above the ground. Its lava lakes, that can stretch for many tens of kilometers up to 200 kilometers, would stop being active and would become fully solid. Its entire interior as well would likely solidify. Over the course of many hundreds of millions of years, it would start accumulating craters, because there would be nothing to erase them. However, it would still likely retain its distinct, mostly yellow in color, sulfur-rich surface for a really long time. Ceres, on the other hand, as it would switch places with Io, would suddenly find itself at a distance from Jupiter of 420,000 kilometers. That is very similar to the distance of the Moon to Earth. So Jupiter would dominate the sky from the side of Ceres facing it. Also Ceres would then be further away from the Sun compared to its previous location in the asteroid belt. It would be about five times further away from the Sun than the Earth. So Jupiter and the rest of Jupiter's large spherical moons would start pulling on Ceres. That would create immense friction within Ceres and thus heat. So based on some indications, Ceres is likely partially differentiated, meaning that each of its layer is not exactly neatly separated like it is on, for example, Europa, where water ice is separated from the rock content into very different layers. Rather, on Ceres, the rock content is more mixed up with water ice. But the tidal heating would be so great that the water would start melting and it would start separating from the rock content. Because water is less dense than rock, water would come out on the top of rocks. This process would cause dramatic changes to the surface of Ceres likely it would be completely remodeled to the point at which every single crater, mountain and other surface feature would disappear. 
the upper layer and the surface of Ceres would eventually likely form a pure water ice crust that would insulate the hot interior of Ceres from the extremely low temperatures present at the distance of Jupiter from the Sun. So quite possibly a massive water ocean of Ceres would then be underneath the water ice crust. There would likely be more than enough internal heating for that to happen. Ceres at that point would be unrecognizable and it would start looking more like Europa and Enceladus. It would start forming an uncountable amount of huge cracks. Also yes, it would most likely start having volcanoes like Io, but they would likely be on the rocky floor of the ocean. They would heat up the water to a very significant degree. Ceres, because of its position around Jupiter, could then possibly become the most volcanically active object in the solar system, taking that title away from Io. That would also then cause for Ceres to have massive plumes in which water particles reach incredible heights. Over time, Ceres might even be able to develop some life form in that ocean. Now Ceres getting an ocean, or at least a massive ocean, because of sudden immense heating is not actually something that is guaranteed. Mimas is an object that orbits Saturn at a distance significantly closer than Enceladus. They are both similar in size and both have lots of water in their composition. So one would expect that Mimas also has a huge active ocean that would create massive surface cracks and active plumes like on Enceladus. But Mimas simply doesn't have indications that it has an immense and a very active ocean. The surface doesn't show it, it's heavily cratered. Now Mimas might still have an ocean, it's just that there is something causing for the indications of it to not show up on its surface. In the case Mimas doesn't have an ocean, it may be due to a lack of salt, since salt lowers the point at which water freezes meaning less heating is required for water to stay liquid. If that is the case, then we can actually expect Ceres to start being very active once tidal heating starts, since there is evidence that it has a significant amount of salt. Considering that Jupiter is three times more massive than Saturn, and considering the distance of Ceres from Jupiter, then the tidal heating would likely be more than enough to create liquid ocean on Ceres. Just maybe the activity could be so intense that water completely leaves Ceres over time. Although that would inevitably happen to Ceres anyways during the red giant phase of the sun. Overall what can be understood is that if Io switched places with Ceres, Io would over time start looking slightly more like Ceres. The lack of geological activity would cause that because of crater accumulation. While with Ceres, the probable scenario is that it would start looking more like Europa and Enceladus.